Good Monday morning, folks. I'm News 18 meteorologist Cam Hopman with today's edition of your weather vlog. Plenty to talk about today, mainly that snow that we've all been talking about throughout the weekend, even last week. This could be the most significant snowfall we've seen during the entire winter season, and meteorological spring is already here. So it's a little bit late in the season, but all together, uh, I'm going to be pretty much focusing on that uh, throughout the next couple minutes here. But first, let's get to what's going on right now. Today, actually uh, seeing some hazy sunshine out there, some light upper atmospheric moisture still filtering in over the region as we speak. Temperature sitting right around freezing as well. We're right around 32 degrees here in Lafayette. Winds are from the southeast even at 12 miles per hour. And we're going to be seeing temperatures actually on the rise throughout the remainder of the day, right around 39, 40 degrees for your high temperature in Lafayette later on this afternoon. Now, along with this cloud cover is actually the leading edge of this low pressure system. And right now we're dealing with some light snow showers just off to our west. But the problem is that conditions are so dry here at the surface that even as this line of precipitation gets right over us, it's very uh, possible that we may not see any precipitation whatsoever at all. And even if it does fall, it's likely going to be a wintry mix and not even snowfall at all since those temperatures are already getting above freezing. We're at 63% uh, humidity right now. So as that uh, line of precipitation slowly or begins to move on in, uh, once again, it's likely that we won't really be seeing anything at all, maybe just some heavier cloud cover during the afternoon hours um, once this line of moisture moves through. Uh, as far as the true snow, what we're really expecting, and we've been talking about anywhere between 1 to 3 inches, 1 to 4 inches, 3 to 6 inches, even more than that. Over the last few days, these models have been going back and forth. That low pressure system is going to track just south of our viewing area, which means it's perfect conditions for snowfall, and that's exactly what we're going to be seeing. The National Weather Service has the majority of the viewing area under a winter storm watch beginning tomorrow morning, lasting through Wednesday morning. That go, that goes for Newton, uh, Jasper, Pulaski, Fulton, Miami, Cass, White, Carroll, Tippecanoe, Clinton, and Howard counties. Uh, and that is once again through Wednesday morning. Now notice Montgomery, Fountain, Warren, Benton not on that list. That is because those areas can expect slightly less snowfall than uh, the majority of us and the majority of the rest of the viewing area uh, during the day on Wednesday or Tuesday into Wednesday. Now the reason those areas will be seeing less as temperatures will be slightly warmer. Temperatures tomorrow are expected to warm up to around 36 degrees. And during the morning, we will be seeing a wintry mix or freezing rain during the morning, the early afternoon hours. And as temperatures approach that 36 degree mark, we're actually going to be seeing uh, more of a wintry mix event during the morning, the early afternoon than anything else. It's during the Tuesday evening that we really need to watch these snow amounts. Temperatures will begin to drop as we get towards the latter part of the afternoon into the evening hours. That's when those temperatures drop. That's when the heavier, heavier snow amounts can be expected. Now, how much snow can we expect? Crawfordsville, right around an inch or maybe even two inches, depending on where those temperatures lie during the afternoon and evening hours. Right now, right around an inch, I have the further north you go, the more snowfall we'll be seeing. Now, Fowler could be seeing anywhere between three, maybe four inches. That might be a little high, but for the Lafayette area, I'm pretty uh, pretty sure of the three to four inch mark uh, for Lafayette by Wednesday morning. Uh, out towards Howard County, right around five inches, maybe slightly less, I'm expecting. But the further northeast you go, once again, the heavier snowfall you could be seeing. Far northern uh, Pulaski, Fulton, Miami, even Cass counties can be seeing between six to maybe even as high as eight inches of snowfall by Wednesday morning and afternoon. Now, once Wednesday rolls around, things will begin to clear up. We'll still see cloud cover, maybe a few light flurries Wednesday morning. By Wednesday afternoon and evening, the cloud cover remains, but temperatures will also be a little bit cooler, so we're not going to be seeing anything really melt quite as of yet. 33 degrees, your high temperature on Wednesday. It's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday that we are really watching, and folks, it is going to feel very nice. 38 for your high temperature on Thursday. Friday, we're looking at a high of 45 with mostly sunny skies. High pressure moves toward east, forces uh, winds from the south. That's going to boost our temperatures to the 50s, the 50s for Saturday. Saturday, 51, your high temperature that day. Now, I will mention there is a slight chance of precipitation Saturday night into Sunday, 52, your high temperature for Sunday. So we even hit those 50s once again, Sunday night into Monday morning next week. Uh, it looks like temperatures will be dipping back down near freezing. The good news is the precipitation will be gone by Monday morning if 
these current trends hold and temperatures will be jumping right back up into the mid to upper 40s maybe even the low 50s once again for the few, first few days of your next work week so after this hopefully and I'm probably jinxing us all right now by saying our last true kick of winter um, it looks like things will be warming up and spring may just be right around the corner. Uh, the first full day of spring, March 20th, but we may be getting a little bit of a taste that here, uh, taste of that mainly for the beginning of next week. But uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to hit on today. Just those snow amounts, anywhere between one to maybe even as high as eight inches of snow. That eight seems a little bit high for us, so I'm going right now about three to four for Lafayette. Six inches for our far northeastern counties and the further south you go, like Crawfordsville, expecting right, right around one to two inches of snowfall by Wednesday morning. Uh, but all together, that's our snow event right there. We'll have more updates uh, as the day progresses and as far as tomorrow morning goes, we'll have better numbers as well with the latest models continuing to pop up. But uh, really, I'm looking more forward to that nice warm-up for the weekend and next week then that snowfall here over the next few days but it'd be nice to maybe get a decent little snowfall here right before spring uh, but all together folks that's pretty much all I wanted to hit on today uh, feel free to email Chad Jesse and I at weatherteam18 at WLFI.com for any questions on the forecast uh, my personal email address is Cameron.Hotman at WLFI.com and you can also follow us on Twitter at weatherteam18 uh, that's pretty much all I had today folks so until tomorrow I'm News 18 meteorologist Cam Hotman signing off